Hi, this is Anjali from DMC, and we are going to try to create a graphic representation of a task list using a color coding scheme similar to what you see here on this page. So the first step you're going to make is you're going to create your task list in one of your SharePoint sites, um, as I've already done. Uh, you obviously have to come up with the color coding scheme, and in my color coding scheme we're going to have not started equals yellow, deferred yellow, in progress green, complete will be green, and waiting on someone else will be identified in red. So the first step that you have to do is you have to create the logic for your color-coded field. Um, I've got already gone ahead and created this logic, so I'm going ahead and copy. Actually, I need the whole thing, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this information, go back into my SharePoint list, hit list, list settings and create a column. We're going to call this column color. Now this color is going to be a calculated field based on other data. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my logic into there. It's going to return a single line of text and hit OK. The next thing we need to do is create our um, graphic field. So uh, again, I already have the code, so go ahead and copy this code, and we're going to call it color status. So go back to your list, create another field, call it color status, and again, this is going to be a calculated field based on other information. Make sure you use the same field names because it's going to um, refer to the color field here. So if you do change the name, make sure you change that as well. So it's going to return a single line of text, and again we hit OK. So now it has this information in the, um, in the columns. So we're going to go to the web page where we want to drop this information. So this is just a test page that I've come up with. So first thing you need to do is add your task list to the page. So you're going to go page, edit, go to the place that you want to add, add your page, insert, web part, and my list was called video blog. So I went ahead and added it to it here. Um, you will have to go and edit the properties of this web part so that you can see the right fields. So here we're going to edit the current view. And make sure that uh, we don't have the ones that we aren't interested in. and the ones that I am interested in is the color status. So we'll go ahead and hit OK there. So now you can see the color status is returning that information just like it did um, in here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add another part to our page, another web part. Let's so go back into page, edit, now, in this item, you need to be directly under the video blog or the, your task list. Otherwise, this step will not work. So we're going to go into Insert, Web Part. It's going to be Media and Content, and you're going to choose Content Editor. Go ahead and click Add. And in 2010, your Content Editor is a little bit different than 2007 but um, it still has the same concept. In 2007, you can add the HTML code right into the content editor, editor, and in 2010, you have to paste it somewhere else within your site and then point it to the right location. So I am using 2010, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my location of my HTML code and point it to the right place. So another thing you can do that you can also make this particular um, web part hidden so that nobody can see it. 
if you don't have the option to make it hidden, you can also um, do the Chrome type, none. And that'll hide it from the rest of your uh, users. Hit OK. And we're going to go back to our page, save and close. And now you have a color-coded task list.